In this video, we're going to be doing a tire test with the brand new Axial Base Camp stock tires versus a few very common competitors out there in the market to see which ones really are better for this truck. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me crawling and drifting and bashing and racing, plus product review videos and how to's. And I've had a couple videos recently with this Axial Base Camp as we just got it, testing it out, seeing how good it is. And I've been watching a lot of other people's videos too. And so far, lots of people appearing to have traction issues. In fact, if you go back and watch my first video, really kind of disappointed with how well this truck did over, especially some certain obstacles that I expected it to do better on. So today we are coming in with a few competitors. I got some chrome steel wheels on here that I, could, I can give you a link to down below with some Proline BFG KR2 tires. This is the G8 compound, so we're gonna give those a shot. Have the old trusty, which is the actual stock TRX4 sport tire. These are actually still glued onto the plastic wheels. They have not been cut, but um, a fairly popular tire. I really like it, especially if they have been uh, modified. They seem to work really, really well. We have a brand new set that we're going to try here as a control also. And then lastly, these are the Proline TRX US MT tires. Again, the G8 compound. This is uh, with, again, some nice beadlock, aluminum beadlocks here. Been using these on my SEX 103 Gladiator. Really, really surprised me as to how well they do. They're a little bit smaller, you can see here, compared to the stock tire, but we're also going to give them a shot. So we're going to run a standard course in my backyard with all four tires and give you a back-to-back -back comparison of them so we can see what the differences are.
four tires have been tested. Check that out. What do you think? I thought that was pretty interesting myself. The stock tires actually did better than they did during my first run. I don't know if that's starting to be just a little bit more break in now, or if they're really, really sensitive to being wet, because like I said, first drive ever with this truck, slightly damp out. And maybe this compound, maybe this tread compound, just really isn't very good uh, with any kind of moisture. Maybe that's what we were seeing there. Um, but still, I think for today, the worst performing tire. Now, they're pretty stiff. Foams are pretty stiff, rubber's pretty stiff. I do wonder, and stay tuned for this for a future video, I do wonder if we can modify these, maybe modify the foams, maybe modify the tread pattern itself to see can we actually make them better. So I'm interested in that. So we may check that out in the future. Those were followed, I think, in performance by the TRX4 tires. Uh, they did better, I believe, than the stock tires. They actually did make it up a couple of the places. You could hear more traction happening with these than the stock tire, but they still did not win the day. Um, I do have a video I can leave down in the description of how I normally modify these tires to make them better. These have not had that done to them. So with the modification, I believe they would have performed even better today. The TRX USMT, which is a mouthful, uh, did well, actually. It didn't, it did, uh, you know, was one of the first tires that actually made it up the uh, rock wall in the front, the V, the rock wall V up in the front. So that was good. Definitely had to work for it. It was not easy, but it did make it. Um, and it, it, it did well, you know, overall. I'm pretty happy with this tire. I've used it a lot. It's seen mud, it's seen everything. Um, can't can't complain you know if you have a set of these you will probably enjoy them the winner winner chicken dinner for today is going to be this proline bfg i believe honestly you know it's the same compound as this tire i believe the only difference that we really had was just total footprint it is a noticeably wider tire it's basically the same height, but it is noticeably wider. With the pattern, it puts a lot more rubber down on the ground. Supposedly, they're both G8 compounds, so that shouldn't be any difference. I think the foam might be a little bit softer in this tire. That probably helped it get some contact also. So these, plus these metal wheels on here that I have, those are going to end up being what gets run on this base camp. Really does. I think it matches the truck overall rather well, so I'm pretty happy with that. With the BFG being the winner today, I'm about to roll some bonus footage. Since it was the winner, I actually went out and did a couple more lines around my course with it just to see how good it did and it still performed really well. So I'm gonna roll that right now. I'm gonna also leave some videos in the video description down below and my whole SEX uh, base camp playlist over here to your right at the end of the video please go over there and check that out it has everything that i've done to this truck modification wise plus my first run in there and that playlist is going to continue to build with other things that i do to this truck so please go over there check it out and we will see you in that video thank you for your time and goodbye